All right, so what I'm going to do today is take a few minutes and demonstrate the Trimble XR10 headset utilizing Trimble Connect for HoloLens. To start out, within uh, Trimble Connect, we'll select our model and we'll launch that model. And the first thing that the headset will ask us to do is to spatially map our surroundings. So we're going to get a good look at the walls, the floor, and the ceiling where, we where we're standing. And we're going to air tap to anchor that model wherever we'd like. So I can anchor it onto the wall. I'm going to choose to anchor it to the floor. So I'll use my hand to do a what we call a claw. It'll now anchor the model to the floor. So now I've got the model in front of me. I can use some hand gestures to uh, manipulate the model. I can reach to the corner and I can change the sizing. I can also reach and grab the orbs or spheres here to rotate my model as I see fit. And I can actually go right up to the model and use my hands to grab the model and resize it that way as well. Now if I want to put this model in one-to-one -one, uh, scale, I'll go to my menu by raising my hand. Click, click align, and I'll click align using planes. Say connect done or air tap to complete the spatial mapping. Air tap on the first wall. I'll click on the first wall in my environment. Air tap on the corresponding wall in the model. And air tap on the second wall. Um, same wall on the model. And I'll do the same process with my second air wall. Air tap on the corresponding wall in the model. And the HoloLens has automatically detected the floor, so I'll say yes, use auto floors. Model aligned successfully. And now you can see that my model is aligned to my existing space. So I can see my model on one-to-one -one scale. You can actually see through my existing um, wall in my environment. You can see the opposite room there, which would be the bathroom area. If I actually open it up, I can see what that looks like on the other side. You can see the second room here. And on this side, I have more of what would be my kitchen area with the countertop. So the last thing I wanted to show was doing some basic measurements. I go to my menu again, and I click my measure tool. I have a few different options here. I can do model to model, I can do reel to model, or I can do reel to reel. Starting with model to model, I can pick a point on my countertop, for instance, and model from there. I can do basic, you know, I can get a general idea of how large the sink is. Notice it will snap um, to certain spots. It'll snap to corners and, and ends of lines. Now if I go to my menu again and I uh, switch over to reel to model, this will do measurements between my real environment and my model. So if I click, for instance, a spot on my ceiling, I can measure the distance from my ceiling to the top of the countertop about five foot two. I can also go into my menu, go to reel to reel, and I can take measurements of my existing environment, either freehand, or I can choose my 90 degree, which will do measurements across the X, Y, or the Z axes. So for instance, I can pick a spot on my ceiling and then I can pick anywhere on the floor, and it's going to give me a direct Z measurement from the floor to the ceiling. And you can see now I've got eight foot ceilings in this room.